Okay, so we're going to up to the house in a little bit after I have some more breakfast because I only had wheat fix this morning before I went for a surf. And then we're going to go rearrange some tanks so that we can make room for the new zebra plecos coming. There is eight of them and we're going to pick them up from the airport this week sometime. They're just organising flights and everything coming from Sydney to the Gold Coast airport. So we'll see how that goes and I'll go eat some breakfast and I'll update you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so we're going now to rearrange this fish tank um, for the zebra plecos that are coming very soon and I'm going to show you guys this tank here this is going to be the new zebra pleco tank this is the current L600 tank okay so the plan is I think what the plan will be is to move the fish out of that tank a lot into this fry convex liquid fry grout tank and probably put another canister on that tank so that's got a bigger can hold a bigger bio load i've got two big canisters on there i had thought about putting the um zebra plecos in here but i just worry that that system's a bit too small for eight fish um in terms of the zebra plecos i've got l600s in here preferably what i want to do in the future or very soon is get my six foot tank somewhere in this area here put my most of that fish or all of those fish in the six foot tank and all of those fish there and have the L um, zero foot zebras in there and the L 600s in here anyway we're going to get to work moving some fish out because that's what we've got now we don't have the six foot tank up here now so what we can do only do now is to move some of the fish into here clean that up a bit move some of the fish in there and set that up for the L046s that are coming. Eight of them. So excited. I think the first thing I'm going to do is the tank here. I've got some pretty cool stuff growing out of this moss um, on the top here. I've got a box up here I can put some stuff into. Some fish maybe. Um, I've got a lot of grow outs in this tank. There definitely is plenty of grow outs in this tank. It's really just a grow out only tank. I had thought about putting the zebra plecos in here but I might I actually had thought about it and I might do it although I just feel like it's a bit of a disgrace putting my rarest most expensive fish in the tank on the floor and I've got this tank here with the L600s in it and this tank here even more preferable some catfish in it and clown loaches which live in this tunnel that comes out there's a loop around there and I got a big pleco in there so I think this is going to be the best tank for the L046 so or we can always put the L046 in here and put all these grow outs into the other tank I'm just got to figure out what would be the best option out of the two I feel like this would be the easiest option anyway I'll see if I can work out what I'm gonna do Sorry buddies, you guys are going to have to come out of here. You can see over there. Siamese algae eaters.
I might put these what a sinkless maybe in the L600 tank that guy caught. Quite a big fella. I think you can even... Whoa. So I put these guys in here with the L600s which are hiding and in there. There we go. His new room. Whoa, we look like it. He's the next big fella. He's a um, albino sailfin. He's pretty massive. He's an absolute beast of a fish. Beautiful plumage fins and all. Beautiful fish. And now he's going to a new home. He goes. Self in Abino Gibby is adjusting himself nicely. Now, plan the jug. got the really nice size clown loach and algae eater down there. They're gonna go crazy if I put my hand in. They're gonna freak. Whoops. They are jumpers. That's why I said torpedo. That was quite crazy. Fish jumped out. But he's alright. He's just sitting in there. So here we go. I've done a pretty neat little aquascape, hardscape, no plants really. Um, got some bubbles at the back and um, a pleco cave. It's hiding, that's hollow in there so they can hide in that part. I need to get some more caves for them. But it's alright for now because they're just growing out but when they start to breed I'm definitely going to put heaps of caves in there. And um, over here Looks like everyone's doing all right. And we're gonna do a bit of a head count with the plecos here in a second, probably. Clean the sponge filters. It's definitely a jam-packed tank now. Let me get that other canister. There's that pleco up the back there. I'll probably end up putting him in, uh, maybe there or in there. there go. So I just put that new big 300 watt heater in here. Set it for 27, around that. 
and I moved just filling up the tank so I better watch I don't overflow that and I put the other heater in there the aqua one one just to El Cheapo after doing a huge clean on the fish room um, I'm really pleased with the results and um, the new space that I made in here I also gave it a bit of a clean and I have huge amounts like big storages of like collections of driftwood that I'm going to put in my new six foot tank. So I've got this one here, huge piece, and I've got the whole bucket full there. <sighs> Literally stands about as tall as me. It's a huge piece. This is a big piece of wood that I got. And in here we just got loads and loads of stumps and other driftwoods and stuff that are just soaking up real nicely. Some nice pieces in there. And sticks, anything, heaps of driftwood. Stuff like that. Stuff like hollow logs and all that stuff. Pretty good. Actually put the we've actually put the caves in the tank now and um, I gave them a rinse off to get all the nasty stuff off the residue and here's the final product I had that one already made before as a test and they seem to like it so can't wait to get the zebras in here on next Monday these guys are going well and these guys as well. Just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. It's kind of just filtration for now. I'm not sure what kind of filtration, bacterial collection maybe, but an aeration mainly. Just adding another body of water basically. I've got some tanks coming, some two foot breeding tanks. I think I just set up a few days ago. I think a little female right here. I'll try and breed them in here. My own sponge filter. I just love cats and cats love me of course. DIY sponge filter I made. Cat loves camera by the way.